Hey guys, so today I'm going to do two super exciting unboxings. So I have two Fairy Late unboxings to do. So I have the Fairy Late November box to unbox and a special collector's edition. So this is the Fairy Late collector's edition for Queen of Nothing. So there's going to be an exclusive edition of Queen of Nothing as well as other items for the series. So I'm so freaking excited for this one. I think I'll start with the November box. I am a Fairy Late rep so they did send me these boxes and I'm so thankful. I'm so excited. So you can use the code Chloe for a discount off your first box. But actually, sorry, before we open the two boxes, I do just have one quick other package I wanted to unbox because Fairy Late did also send me this. It is an exclusive edition of a book that they were selling and I'm so thankful that they sent this to me. I was planning to buy it anyway because it is an exclusive edition of Girls of Storm and Shadow, which is the sequel to Girls of Paper and Fire, which I absolutely love that book. I'm actually currently reading Girls of Storm and Shadow. This exclusive edition is everything. So let's open it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. This is actually stunning. <gasps> okay, so look. Oh my gosh. Look at those sprayed edges. And it has the exclusive cover as well. It's more colourful than the regular edition. But oh my gosh, and this matches perfectly with Girls of Paper and Fire because they did include an exclusive edition in the box in the past. I'll go get it so you can see. Okay, so this is the exclusive edition of Girls of Paper and Fire. They put more rainbow on the cover and pink sprayed edges. Oh, I think this cover is even more beautiful. I just love it. They just look incredible together. <gasps> look at the spine. Oh my gosh, I just love it so much. So thank you so much to Fairy Loot. I'm just so obsessed with Fairy Loot. They always have the most amazing items. So I think this is sold out, but if not, I'll leave it linked down below but I'm just so obsessed I forgot to say that it's also signed so let's start with the November box I'm so excited and I'm so happy I haven't seen any spoilers online because I did want to do a double unboxing so I was waiting for my collector's edition to come okay so this is the amazing spoiler card so this theme is magical folk and I'm so freaking excited. So the first item is this, oh my gosh, it's Stranger Dreamer themed. And it's this amazing eye mask that says it was impossible, of course, but when did that ever stop any dreamer from dreaming? I don't even have to look because that's one of my favorite quotes. But yeah, oh my gosh, that is so stunning. Just look at that foiling. The, I love the gold and the blue. It obviously suits the Stranger Dreamer aesthetic and I just love that. And it's also super soft, good quality. Oh, and you can actually adjust. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if that's common for eye masks, but I don't think so. That's just perfect. I love that. Then we have an ornament, which I'm so excited. I actually put my tree up and this is going to look amazing. So this is, oh, I love it. It is a Harry Potter themed ornament. So it says, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. So this is obviously a Dumbledore quote. Philosopher's Stone. I love this. Can't wait to put it on my tree. My tree is themed red, gold, and like wooden. So this is perfect because obviously it's wooden. I'm so excited to put it on. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so this is an iron on patch. It says Angel Fall Inspired. And I don't really know what it is, but it's super cute. But yeah, I haven't read Angel Fall, so I don't know. It looks like it's like a sword with like a little bear on it. Ooh. Okay, so we have a phone ring so it's kind of like a pop socket you put it on the back of your phone and you can like use the ring bit to hold your phone so it says you're not my type they are my type it's also like really good quality so yeah i think you just kind of okay this is not a good phone case to show because it's like a mirror but you put it on the back here and then like you kind of just use this ring for more support so that is super super cute and then we have the reading journal so this reading journal is for 2020 so january to december they previously included six month reading journals so they did one for january to june and then july to december but now they're just on january to december 2020 so this is what it looks like definitely very very loot themed and on the inside it has art like the others did oh it's so pretty so it has a month at a glance Glance. books I read, favorite quotes, random thoughts, and yeah, I think it just does that theme for every month, like that structure. There's just amazing art. I think this is monoline art, so I love that. I love the art and I love the themes. 
and I really love the structure. I actually do have my own bullet journal that I use as a reading journal, so I'm either going to give this to a friend or do a giveaway for it because this is definitely amazing. I don't want it to go to waste, but yeah, I love that a lot. So it says there are illustrations each month of the zodiac signs reimagined by monoline art. So that is actually stunning. So this is definitely super nice. <gasps> oh my god, you gotta be kidding! <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So it says Curiosa and Curiosa, which is obviously an Alice in Wonderland quote. I'm so keeping this box. <laughs> like, how amazing is that? And then this is going to be volume two of the secret book because we did get volume one of the secret book, which I'm obsessed with. So I can't wait to see what volume two looks like. <gasps> oh, yeah. Love this even more. Okay, yeah, I love this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm freaking out. Okay, let me just first admire the outside beauty before I look inside. So it says volume two. And when you open it, oh my goodness. Okay, so, so it has heaps of different quotes. So it has, I don't want an easy life. I want a meaningful one. Natasha and Yarn, Girls of Paper and Fire. Then it has the Young Elites, Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Even the Darkest Stars, Rebel of the Sands, Shadow of the Fox, End of Days and winter song i love all these illustrations and the quotes i just love these secret books so so much i use my other one for the fairly character tarot cards so now i can find a new use for this one because there's definitely a lot of things you obviously you can just put anything in here and just put it on your bookshelf and it looks stunning and it's secret you can put secret notes it's just such an amazing idea i hope they do like a million volumes because <laughs> i love them um but yeah i love this one even more i just love the colors and everything and it actually says that if you're missing the first volume you can actually buy it from their fairy trove in the coming months so that's super cool i just love these secret books so much and i can't wait to display it okay so <laughs> this box okay so now we have a little wooden bookmark which is stunning so it's double-sided so on one side we have this amazing character art and i believe this is someone from spin the dawn because on the back it says all legends have a spark of truth elizabeth Lim, and elizabeth Lim wrote spin the dawn which i still haven't read yet but i've been meaning to but now I have the perfect bookmark to use when I read it. Yeah, I love wooden bookmarks. And this is actually like a more thin. <laughs> this is like a more thin wooden bookmark, which I actually like because sometimes when it's too thick, it kind of curves. So this is just super nice and I love it. So yeah, I can't wait to read that book and use this bookmark. Now we have the character tarot cards. So we have the devil and the world. And I'm guessing these are the last tarot cards for the Shadow Me series, which I haven't read, so I don't know these characters. But <laughs> let's see if it says anything. Okay, it doesn't say anything on the spoiler card. So if you know these characters, please let me know. But they are so stunning. I love the roses and everything and the colors. And obviously I just love the art style. Okay, so now we're up to the book. And like I said, I haven't seen any spoilers. So I don't know what the book is. It feels like it's a shorter hardcover. It has black sprayed edges. Ooh, what is it? Oh my god, I love this cover. Okay, so it says A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. I'm really into this cover. So yeah, I've actually never heard of this book. Okay, so it is also signed by the author. I love black sprayed edges. Seems like this is set in a North African inspired fantasy world. And we follow Ava who is a princess and her sister wants her dead. But it's not just her sister who wants her dead, there's also an assassin who tries to attack Ava weeks before her name day. And so she's forced to turn to a powerful fae instructor and a mysterious and handsome Haima prince for help in growing her magic into something to fear. Ooh, so she has to choose her sister's death or her own. So this sounds like it's going to be super intriguing. Can't believe I haven't heard of this. So if you've read this or if you've heard of it, if you're excited, let me know. I think this sounds like it's gonna be really good and I've never read a North African inspired fantasy. Yes, I'm excited. And then we also have this stunning character art. Oh my gosh, I love that. That makes me even more excited. And then it has a little note from the author. Then we also have the Fairy Loot monthly bookmark and the Fairy Scoop. Okay, so next month's theme, actually this month's theme because it's December. So December's theme is Defying the Odds and it's all about characters that have to fight against overwhelming odds, whether it's to save the world or to protect a loved one. So there will be items inspired by Throne of Glass, The Wrath of the Dawn, Red Rising, Prior of the Orange Tree, Skyward and Game of Thrones. And the box is going to contain two books 
So one of them is going to be an ARC with an exclusive cover. Oh my gosh, that is really cool. And then the other book is going to have an exclusive cover, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket, embossing, and it will be signed. That is so stunning. Okay, I am excited for that box. And this box was amazing, truly amazing. I mean, I'm literally never disappointed with Fraley boxes. They always just have the best items. I just love all these items. Can't even choose a favorite. Jokes. Okay. It's a secret book, I think. <laughs> but seriously, yeah, so many good items. Okay, so now time for the Queen of Nothing Collector's Edition. So yeah, this is definitely way bigger than a usual fairy loot box. So I'm excited to see all the items in here. And this did sell out really quickly. So I'm super, super thankful that fairy loot sent this to me. I 100% would have tried to get it because their collector's edition boxes are so good. They did one for the last book in the Caraval series and it was so good. So I'm so excited to see what's in here. It is packed to the brim. This is what it looks like. Oh my gosh. And I love how it's green as well. That obviously suits the forest fae theme. Yeah, on top it says the Queen of Nothing box in collaboration with Holly Black. So it says every item in the box is officially licensed and has been approved by Holly Black, which is so cool. Oh, oh my god, this is the spoiler card. <laughs> okay, so, oh my god, there's literally so much in here. I think there's a blanket, so I'm gonna open this. Okay, I'm definitely not gonna be able to show you now, so I'll probably insert a clip, but it is huge. It is huge. And it's Jude and Carden. Oh my gosh, this is such a cool blanket. I love it. Oh my gosh, this is actually stunning. I love the colors. Oh my gosh, I love it. I don't know how many more times I can say I love it, but I love this blanket. <laughs> I just love how it has Jude and Carden on it. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so the first item was amazing. <gasps> Okay, so we have an enamel pin. So it says, I left my heart in Elfame. This is one of my new favorite pins. I love it. It's just so stunning. I love the design, the colors. Yes. <gasps> oh, then we have a book sleeve. So it says, if I cannot be better than them, I will become so much worse, which is the iconic Jude quote from The Cruel Prince. And oh my gosh, this is so stunning. Stunning. It has the classic acorn and obviously the leaves and everything. Oh, this is so amazing. And it actually is a zipped book sleeve, which I love. Super good quality, super big. So Girls of Storm and Shadow is a large, like a taller paperback. And it fits perfectly. And you can just zip it up and your book is protected. Oh my gosh. I love this book sleeve so much. Okay, then we have this huge box and this is a ceramic mug. I'm so excited to see. Okay, it's definitely protected. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, look how stunning this freaking mug is. I love ceramic mugs and we have Jude and Carden and it's black on the inside. Okay. <laughs> My mug collection is thriving, and this is like the best addition to my mug collection. <gasps> it has an acorn at the bottom. Oh, that's perfect. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, this is like one of my new favorite mugs. <laughs> and the artist for this is Monolime Art. Then we have this amazing print of Jude and Carden. And this is by Mer Wild and Co. I don't know <clears throat> why my voice just turned so weird, but so stunning. I feel like the most talented artists always draw Jude and Carden. Like, there's the best character art out there of the two. But, okay. So then we have a little wooden bookmark. Oh, that's fun. So the artwork is by Monolime Art and Stella Bookish Art. Two of my faves. Okay, so this is like similar to to the one that was in the um, November box. It's like a wooden bookmark, but it's like more thin and it's like double-sided like the other one was. So we have Carden, which I'm guessing this is by Monolime Art. And on the back, I'm guessing this is Stella Bookish Art. So it says, if you're the sickness, I suppose you can't also be the cure. That is so stunning. Literally every single item so far, literally obsessed. Okay, so we have the book left. Oh. I'm so excited to see what the exclusive edition is going to look like. Okay, I'm so happy I haven't been spoiled. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it has stenciled edges. It has stenciled edges. <gasps> oh. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is stunning. I'm dying. So it basically is just like a naked book. It doesn't have a dust jacket. So we have this snake and... 
Oh my gosh, I just love it. And then the stenciled edges of the snake goes all around too. This is so stunning. And then it says exclusive limited edition. Just look how cool it looks when you flip through because of the stenciled edges. Okay, I love this. And they're actually going to sell the matching editions of The Cruel Prince and The Wicked King soon. I don't know exactly when, but definitely. <gasps> Ooh, it also has a ribbon bookmark. I didn't even notice. Okay, it also has a ribbon bookmark. That is just, oh my God, this book is so stunning. I was going to say definitely follow them on Instagram to see updates. But oh my gosh, I love this so much. I didn't know what to expect, but I wasn't expecting this. This is just so cool. And I love the green. I just love everything about it. So pretty. Oh, we have a little signed book plate as well. So it says the Queen of Nothing, limited edition. Oh, it's a sticker, so you can just stick it in. Okay, I'll do that right now. Oh my God, I don't want to stuff this up. <laughs> okay, I stuck it in. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so that is that box. <laughs> I literally am obsessed. I feel like I always say this, but I feel like I'm just the biggest fairy loot fangirl. Like, I'm just constantly, like, so obsessed with the boxes. Oh my god, I didn't even notice. On this box, it has a different quote. So it says, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. That is so cool. I think I'm going to keep this box, actually. Okay, yeah, I just love every single item. I think my favorite item is the mug, just because I love these ceramic mugs so much. And this is just perfect. And I don't usually drink out of my ceramic mugs because I feel like they stain the bottom. But because this is black, you won't see it. So I think I'm actually going to drink out of this and I can't wait. <laughs> Thank you once again to Fairy Loot for sending me these things. I am literally so obsessed. I love every single item. I don't have any complaints. I'm just so impressed as always and just thank you. So I'll definitely leave Fairy Loot the links down below. I highly recommend you check them out. They're just so good. But anyway, I would love to hear your thoughts, um, your favorite item and stuff like that, if you can choose. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a good day and night and I'll see you in my next one.